Today's objective is to explore the walls of Wynwood, to grasp the art and see how it has changed downtown Miami, businesses, tourist attractions, homes, and families, to see how our city has evolved throughout the years, to see how the art speaks itself and how it's a world inside a city. These are the walls of Wynwood. What was once a place for working class citizens soon exploded into an area where people could truly express themselves. We have just come across a Vietnam veteran. We realized that he was talking a lot of things, different things of his life, things that maybe didn't even add up, that maybe couldn't have been true. But what got my attention is that even the people that live inside the walls of Wynwood, their minds are full of art. Art is not only paintings, art can also be speech. Art comes in different ways different styles. Speaking of art, we were lucky to find two artists and interview them about their lives in Wynwood. Jack Russell this morning. Uh, the art, we're out here just to do what we love. We're not here for material things. We could have easily sold out and have everything material-wise we want, but that doesn't make us happy. This does So we take our emotions and how we feel about everything that we can't say in the words and we put it in paint and put it on a wall. But a lot of times I approach people and they're like, no, no, I don't have nothing for you to help. And we starve to death, they won't have any more art out here. You know, I just want McDonald's and a can of dog food this morning. There's nothing I can't draw, bro. I'm gangster. In less than five minutes, you can take home a piece of art from one of the original artists out here. As I did this documentary, I analyzed and I experienced that Wynwood is a place where you will never have the same opportunity twice a place of change, transformation, a place where the adventure can never be repeated, but only experienced in a different area, way and motive. <laughs> 